Hey crafters, welcome back. Today I'm going to take you through the steps that I used to create myself a cheetah tumbler. So I used already, I've already painted the tumbler in my base coats. I used the Aurora 3-in-1 metallic bronze and I gave it three good coats. The metallics often will take more than one coat. So I did that, I let it dry in between for 30 minutes. And then when it was completely ready and dry, then I went on to add the Helios glitter glue. Now I'm adding the Helios glue so that I can add my glitter. I added the glue to the entire tumbler, even though I'm only adding glitter to the bottom portion of my tumbler. So I'm starting at the uh, bottom and then I've just tilted the tumbler up a little bit so that it'll radiate up to the, to the top. But by putting glue on the entire tumbler then the glitter is still able to stick in certain spots because I wanted it to look like it was graduating up to the top there. So I'll just finish up and I will put uh, some glue on the bottom and add some more glitter to the bottom and then we will let that dry. So I've let the tumbler dry now for about 45 minutes and I'm going to wrap it in parchment paper and then I'm going to press apply a lot of pressure and just press the glitter into the glue. Um, there's two reasons for that. One is you're making sure that none of the glitter is loose and that as much as will stick into the glue will stick into the glue. But as well, by pushing it all around, like smushing it into the tumbler, you're making sure that you're creating a smoother finish so that when you apply the Hyperion, you don't have so much of the glitter poking through. So you're starting with a much smoother surface to begin with. After I've done that, then I'm going to use a brush and brush off any of the excess glitter. Um, again, any glitter that didn't stick into the tumbler, you're just going to make sure you get rid of now. Um, make sure that there's no bare spots. And if you have to, you would go ahead and apply another layer of glitter glue and then more glitter at this point. But after I've brushed off my glitter, I see that I'm okay to proceed to sealing it. So now all I'm going to do is seal the glitter. I'm adding another coat of uh, the Helios glue on there and I'm just going to spread a nice even thin coat on the entire tumbler so it's acting first of all it's making sure that all my glitter stays on the tumbler and doesn't move around so that when I add the Hyperion I don't have the pieces of glitter mixing in and moving all around with the Hyperion as I brush it on. After we've finished applying the glue, then we're going to let the tumbler sit and let it dry for a full two hours. You can see here now that it's on the tumbler how the glue has dried crystal clear and you can see the bronze, the metallic bronze finish and the glitter, they both still have their original shine. So that's the beauty of that glue. So now I'm just going to add my Hyperion onto my cup. I've measured seven and a half mils into a cup and then I'm going to just brush it on. Keep in mind that when you're adding your Hyperion, all you're doing is you're applying a nice even finish. You don't want your layers too thin, but not too thick either. But you, it will stay milky white on your tumbler. You'll see that, but you just want to remember to glide your brush over top of the Hyperion and then just let it go. Just trust the process. So I've got three layers all together of Hyperion on here. I did two more coats off of camera. In between coats, I let it dry for two hours. So this is my third coat. I've let it dry for two hours and I'm using a 220 grit sandpaper. And I've put a block of wood behind it so that I can make sure that I'm giving my tumbler a nice level even sand because the whole purpose of this is to have the tumbler so that it is nice and smooth before I put on any more coats of Hyperion or decals. I always give it a good brush and then I'll feel it with my hand to make sure that I haven't missed any areas. Once I'm confident I haven't missed any areas and then it's nice and smooth then I'll go ahead and I will apply a cleaner to the tumbler and I'll make sure that any of the um, 
sanding debris is totally off so that I'm starting with a nice fresh clean tumbler before my next step. Now I did go put another layer of Hyperion on but as it seems I do for every single video I think I'm clicking record and I don't so I didn't get that but you have seen how to put Hyperion on so I'm not worried about that and I've already applied the cheetah print to the bottom part of the tumbler I've just used black vinyl and I put it right over top of the glitter and now I'm adding my name to the tumbler and again it's in black vinyl too so I'm just going to add that and then again as I said before I always forget to click on record so I did put another two coats of Hyperion on over top of my decals and then I checked it sorry three coats and I and then I gave it another quick sand and then I put on another two layers of Hyperion so every, about every third coat approximately I will do a sand if necessary it helps keep the shine up make sure it's nice and smooth so I'll put on my um, as always you put on your Hyperion you wait two hours at three coats you'll give it a light sand you'll clean it off and then you'll add your Hyperion again so after I added uh, two more coats of Hyperion I had a nice smooth tumbler and was ready to go and this is what I was left with